Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's build, we are revisiting the Celestial Nighthawk as a few season back, we did cover a build around the usage of Connect Surge mods, enhancing our super even more. Although we won't be covering that sort of build today, we will be covering his new buff that allows us to get a 1.5 to 4.5% super energy back from precision kills and how to retain that for fast super effects. Going with this setup is going to be ideal if you ever want a simple endgame build, since this one here will grant you a faster super build up with any weapon you like, great solo DPS, infinite radiant buff and great ad control effects via your score generations. So let's take a look into how this all works out. To start, you're going to want to have on your mark where precision final blows grant you and allies increased weapon handling and reload speed up to times 3. Then you want knock them down where your solar supers are enhanced. While Radiant, getting a throw and knife final blow will refund you back. The two aspects are perfect for both enhancing our main abilities and making them even more stronger just from the build existing as a whole. For Fragments, Ember of Ashes where you apply more Scorch stacks to targets, Ember of Torture where melee attacks from your abilities will grant Radiant, Ember of Perium where Soul Weapon or Ability Final Blow extend the duration of Restoration and Radiant Effect, Ember of Wonder where getting an Ignition multi kill will produce an Orb of Power, and Ember of Eruption where your Soul Ignitions have a larger radius. It is recommended to have the following so we can keep our Radiant buff going as long as possible while also making a ton of orbs in the mean run. The importance of this is simply to make our primary weapons land position hit kills much more easier and in less time, while creating orbs via ignitions to expand in the many ways we can gather super energy on demand. This overall makes getting your super back to back quite easy with little effect. For mods and stats, we're going to invest into discipline, but we will branch out to other stats as well. For Discipline, we have ours at tier 10 with a 37 second cooldown via Fusion Grenades. Having a Fusion Grenade with Ashes as its mod is going to be the main play here as it has low cooldown rate of being activated the most when compared to the other grenades in game. With this here and Grenade Kickstart available, we will get back a 31% grenade energy from activating our 4 stacks of armor charges which should be easy to do when you have stacks and stacks available. At the same time, this will also benefit our mobility and strength stat via momentum transfer and bolstering destination mod by providing a 12% energy to the following areas. For mobility, this is handy when paired with Gambler's Dodge as you can keep your melee stat filled for as long as possible since you won't be using your melee all the time. For our strength stat at tier 4, this will be handy but not simply enough to have it freely available for when we need it most unless we add in a fragment to help. This means having absolution, distribution and outreach will be necessary in terms of covering this one stat enough for general play. Do remember that we can sustain having knives available once we get our radiant buff active, but if we do miss or mess up of knife throw, we will need to find another way to get them back through passive means. This next section now covers the additional mods used. For armor charges, we have charged up which is going to make sure we always have an extra charge slot on the current armor we have, while stacks and stacks will escalate our charges from one stack collected to two. After that, having homework siphon will help with creating orbs of power, while powerful attraction will make it easier to gather orbs within your venicity. And lastly, having heavy ammo finder, homework reserves and scavenger mod will be useful for the support of the build overall in terms of heavy ammo usage. Now lastly, the weapon being used, we have the Apoche Integration Hand Cannon, which is my go-to hand cannon when I'm not using the Sunshot. This weapon is fantastic for this sword build since precision hits will be granting us super energy faster now, so hand cannons, pulse rifles or scouts will see huge usage via this build alone. On top of that, the weapon has incandescent and an origin trait named Nanotech Tracer Rounds, which applies a mini rocket to the weapon after landing a few hits. Not so great to use against bosses, but against general adds and many bosses, this weapon is a workhorse that everyone should get and own. We then have the Dragon's Breath which is both ideal for the build in terms of procking and fast scorch ignitions, while also being a DPS buff once bosses start to appear. It's a great weapon to have and use if you tend to play a build that focuses heavily on DPS on the boss within a short duration. For this build, it comes in needs I require for this 
and the napalm effect it provides allows my build to control the field once things do get busy. So for those who've been on my channel for quite a while, we have covered Celestial Nighthawk before, back when people found out that adding Kinetic Surge mods will also buff the super as well. And although we haven't gone with that method again, we have gone with a more efficient setup designed for getting your super up fast and quickly. The version I have went for covers more of using your fragments and abilities as much as possible that will ultimately feed back into our golden guns once propped and active. Since Celestial will grant users a 33% super energy on kills, deal about 650% super damage and grant 1.5 to 4.5 super energy back from pursuing kills, the build as shown will be useful for taking into end game for an example. Now, this hand cannon I'm using is quite good with building up sustained damage on a single target and will allow me to net those precision hits on a more cleaner scale. With thanks to its perk and with incandescent available, this will push our key fragments such as Ember of Ashes, Wonder and Eruption to cause a long lasting ignition setup that can be flexible for weapon choices down the line. This also links back into the seasonal mods Kindling Trigger and Flint Striker making it easier to activate our Radiant to not only have near infinite throwing knives on hand, but also buffing our super for even more damage than normal. But lastly, Dragon's Breath is great for solo single target damage when combined with a one and done super, and since Ember Wonder will be propped once their ignition is triggered on more kills, we can get our super back extremely fast and not just by using our Ashes to Ashes mod alone. Simply, this build is focused on gathering your super in the most simplest way possible while still retaining area control to a high degree. This here is going to be ideal when using an end game because of the flexibility of weapons and fragments being used here that will fit right in with the seasonal mod requirements. If for example you don't want to use Dragon's Breath but prefer Sunshot or Bad Juju instead, then by all means you can swap that out and still retain the build. Or say you want to use Gunpowder Gambler for more explosions, or even add Ember Blistering and Shout to the mix, then there's room to do so. The setup is designed to give you the most simplest setup you can equip, do good with it, and then change up to your own preference. Thanks to the buff, I can see this dotted becoming a lot more common in Endgame since it never really could fit in much. Now though, it offers a lot more uses compared to its past form. And I can't wait to show you some more other versions that fit a wide number of activities of your choosing. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts and content shared then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.